Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day here in Oregon. Um, we are just finishing off our breakfast here at the La Quinta Inn and Suites in Woodburn. Um, so it's included with your stay. Um, you just have to make sure you let them know the number of people within your um, reservation so that they can uh, account for the breakfast. Um, it is uh, open and it's open from uh, 6 to 9 o'clock. So we're enjoying our breakfast before we head out to Silver... Silver Falls State Park in Silverton, Oregon. That's our first stop. So um, stay tuned. And um, if you guys are wondering, um, so what was our overall review of the Woodburn Premium Outlets? I thought it was really nice. Um, I just think that uh, a lot of stores didn't have sales right now because it's, it is the beginning of the year, first quarter. So um, definitely I think more towards the end of the year is when you, you know they would have more sales. So uh, definitely recommend it. So for breakfast, there's an assortment of cereal, fruits, and a waffle station, and also uh, fresh scrambled eggs, coffee, and an assortment of bread and pastries. So it was so cold in the morning that I, there was some frost on the windshield. Thank goodness the rental car came with a scraper that we had to scrape the frost. Watch me struggle. As you know, we don't have to deal with this in Hawaii. So this is brand new to me, guys. Brand new. I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> but somehow it works. Turning on the car and turning on the humidifier, do you, you know defroster really works all right guys we're at silver falls i am lost i need to find out where i need to go to go see the falls so thank goodness we found a map and by the way um so parking is like five dollars for self-parking all day so we had to pay at one of the kiosks Here we are guys, the entrance of the park. I can't believe I got lost. But um, this really nice uh, state park ranger um, assisted us. So here's a look. Explore the Central Cascades Park. That looks super cool. Layers of Time, Geology of Silver Falls. This is the map. Of where we are I have no idea where we're headed guys but hopefully we'll show you some good stuff and the birth of the state park founded in 1930s 1931 interesting what a beautiful day here we go we're going to the falls hopefully we see some waterfalls and we're all wrapped up because it's still cold even though the sun's out we're all wrapped up <laughs> all right Oh look, there's a gift shop here. There's the gift shop. Oh, and a cafe. Cafe and a gift shop. I don't think they're open yet though. We'll come back and check it out. But here we go, walking on this pathway. All right, guys, we're at the first viewpoint, but as you can see, there's like a trail that we can go down to, which is down that way into the canyon. So this is the South Rim Waterfall, South Point Waterfall. So now this is what I call a waterfall. So beautiful. So we walk down this pathway. We're almost there, guys. Let's 
So there's actually more than one waterfall here. Um, who knows? We might go see some of the rest of them, but we'll see. Um, we just saw like there was a, a fork up ahead that had Frenchy Tree, Frenchy Falls too. So we'll see what that's about too. All right. Here we are at the bottom view of the South Falls. Super nice. Some areas are closed or closed off for swimming. And if you look over here, here's another mini waterfall. Like a bridge. Alright, time to go to Frenchie Falls. So, here we go. South Falls was really nice, but hard to take pictures, hard to do it justice. Definitely have to come and see the beautiful sights. Here's the fork I was telling you guys about. So, this way goes up to Frenchie Falls, and right behind me, it go goes down to South Falls. Alright. So apparently guys, it leads to a dead end for Frenchie Falls. Look at these trees. And apparently that's Frenchie Falls. Compared to South Falls, definitely a disappointment. But still, a waterfall. Alrighty, time to head to the North Falls, 2.1 miles. Oniva. Beautiful day. Upon our drive here, it was really foggy. But once you get to the state park, it's really nice. Oh, and along the drive, we saw a Christmas tree farm. That was really nice. Really cool. Here is Tamanjiaxiwafu,中文呢,他们翻译过来就叫做银河瀑布,为什么叫银河瀑布呢?因为它借冰的时候,像那个银河一样一条一条的,很漂亮,我们刚刚在拍那个瀑布还没借冰,
it is Winter Falls. Right in the shadows. <laughs> Here we are at one of the scenic lookouts. The waterfalls run upstream. Interesting. Beautiful. So if, just a recommendation guys, this might take a full day for you guys, you know, if you guys come to Silver Falls. Um, because there's like, I think 10 waterfalls here. And definitely get a map. <laughs> Don't be like me and get lost. So we're very grateful for the staff here. They're very nice, very welcoming. And um, definitely since we're outdoors, um, you know, and breathing the fresh air, it's, it's better than wearing a mask. But of course, when we see people around, we'll definitely put our mask on. So if you see me without one right now, it's because there's no one around us. And we're just enjoying this. This is a really nice day. Um, and the weather is just, just right. Compared to Hawaii, if we go hiking in Hawaii, it's going to be like 100 degrees. And well, it feels like 100 degrees. But over here, it's just nice and cool. January weather. All right, guys. The start of the trailhead is across this bridge for the North Falls. Look at these trees. So, I have no idea where we're headed to guys. Apparently we're going to the Upper North Falls. I don't know what the difference is between North Falls and Upper North, so we'll find out. Here we are. Okay guys, last stop for today, Twin Falls Trail. And I don't know if this is the trail, but we're going down anyway. Alright guys, we got lost, but luckily there was a mother-daughter who helped us. And we found the trail, hopefully this is it. To Twin Falls and again they asked if we had hiking boots and we said no so we're just winging it all right how do we get this Ugh. Ugh. Oh. 
I can hear the falls already. Walking back up this steep hill is going to be treacherous. Alrighty. Alright guys, we're walking back up because we couldn't find Twin Falls or what we think is Twin Falls is what we're going to show you next up in the oh, overlook. And I'm out of breath. Oh my gosh. It is steep guys. So the map is correct. This trail is pretty steep. So highly recommend full day's worth of seeing all 10 falls. We never even hit all, we never even hit half of it. So, let me show you what Twin Falls would look like. Or what we think Twin Falls is. So guys, over the brush, in that area right there, that's what we think Twin Falls is. So, was it worth it coming down? We'll let you guys be the judge of that, or comment down below. back up the steep hill. Okay. Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! It's off to work we go. Na 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 Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Hi ho! Ah. We are at Ross guys. Gonna go shopping for a suitcase. Let's see what we can find. Next stop, Target for our next shopping haul. So for dinner, we went to Olive Garden. Here's a menu of what Olive Garden has to offer. Of course, I wanted to utilize my gift card. So therefore, we came to Olive Garden to try some of their classics. For every entree we ordered, it came with a salad or a soup. So because we ordered two entrees, we got a salad and a soup. Mix, mix, mix. <laughs> We finished the salad. <laughs> Still got the soup. We have the shrimp three ways. The sirloin steak with fettuccine alfredo. And chicken parmesan. Yum. <laughs> How we do it, Lao family style. <laughs> All right, guys, we're at the Red Lion, Red Lion Hotel here in Portland Airport. Here's the two queen size bed, a nice chair. Decent counter space and the view of the next door hotel, which is nicer. Home 2 by Hilton. And then we have a mini fridge, ice, microwave, and TV. So, no hotel, I mean, no breakfast here, guys. So, they said their kitchen has been closed. 
ever since COVID. Now we move on to the bathroom. Here in the bathroom, we have the vanity. Very tight space and a tiled shower. Closet, same ironing board, luggage rack. So very similar to La Quinta Inn and Suites. All right, this will be our home away from home for two days till Thursday. All right, guys, time to do a quick haul of today. Um, we bought two carry-on suitcases. Uh, one of them is from Target, a Swiss made. And the other one is Hurley from Ross. So two well-known brands that we think. Hopefully they're durable. I bought some uh, a nice fleece or throw blanket that's uh, Charlie Brown, a gift for a friend. Uh, again, another Snoopy a dish drying mat, also for a friend. And then as we move on, this is mom stuff. This is her jogging pants from Ross. And then a nice Under Armour jacket and look for 30 bucks. So I also bought shorts for myself, you know, for walking and for um, going to bed. It was $14.99, but I think it was on sale. Should have been $7.99, but... Um, and then we also went to Dollar Tree and got this Glad trash bags and Ziploc bags, as well as uh, Rubbermaid containers for a dollar. At Target, I got a nice t-shirt, extra large, from Goodfellow, uh, $9.99. And then... We also got this from Dollar Tree, toothbrush covers. So this is it guys, terrific haul. Can't wait to be able to use these items. Hey guys, we made it back to the hotel room. Um, so I had to go out to go meet with a friend from Hawaii that she also came up here to visit too and go watch a concert. So, which is why I'm ending this vlog late and inside the toilet because, or the bathroom, because mom and dad are sleeping right now because it's like 10 o'clock and I just got back from meeting my friend. So, um, yeah, overall, um, one critique about the Redwood Inn here at Portland Airport is that the parking is like $7 a day and there's no elevator to take our luggage up. So we're on the second floor and yeah, we had to haul all our luggage up a staircase. So that was not fun. At least at La Quinta, there was a, there was an elevator for us to use to cart our luggage around. And you know, with our newly purchased stuff, we definitely had more stuff to bring. So yeah, that was not fun. Um, overall, I know what you're thinking. Why in the world do we go to Olive Garden for dinner? And it's nothing like special about Portland, but you know, I had a gift card and I wanted to use it. And you know, I bet you Olive Garden, there's less of a wait here than it is in Hawaii. So that's why I might as well use it here. So tomorrow we have a nine o'clock appointment to do our COVID test at the Portland Convention Center. So tomorrow we're gonna do our COVID test. I'm just doing the precautionary three days prior to, um, you know, returning back to Hawaii. Um, of course, it's not required um, because we are vaccinated, but just in case Hawaii changes their laws and does require it back again, I just wanna make sure that I'm able to go back home. So, yep, we're gonna do that tomorrow. And then after that, we have nothing planned, but I definitely want to go finish off seeing the other falls and um, St. John's Bridge and then maybe hit up a Costco or a Sam's Club because I want to see what kind of products they have up here. So stay tuned. See you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.